At Redockly, our mission is to get more developers consuming APIs with less handholding and support. One of the ways we do that is to generate code samples automatically. We're going to log into the registry now, and let's take a look at a sample API docs. So we're looking at our What's for Dinner API, uh, clicking into an operation, and we're looking at the uh, stacked panel view, and we can see code samples there, curl, Node.js, etc. cetera. Uh, we can browse to a different operation, and we see more code samples. So code samples specific to each operation. Uh, the data is populated based on example data that uh, is defined in the Open API or Swagger uh, definition. And if um, the user uses the try it function and changes some value, for example, I change the uh, broccoli to mango, we see a change in the corresponding code sample. I can change tabs and I can see it reflected. It's reflected on all the tabs already. So that's an example of changing uh, something in the body. Now let's go ahead and, and take a look at, at changing a parameter. So this request has a kitchen ID, a path parameter. Uh, there's a default value that we show. And if the user changes the parameter in the try it uh, function, we're going to display that in the code sample. So we can see we replaced that value with sample uh, ID, and we see it in our code samples. In the curl sample, it's because it's a path parameter, it's shown directly on the URL. And um, in the other languages, it's shown as a variable. Now let's take a look at how we configure code samples. So they can be configured inside of a configuration file. We call it the Redocly configuration file. Inside of Features Open API, Generate Code Samples, you can list the languages. You can also supply optional labels if you wanted to change the labels. You could add new languages. Uh, I'll demonstrate that. So here uh, we, I'm adding Ruby. Now they would display in the order they're listed there. So if you want to change the order they're displayed in, change the order in that file. Alternatively, you can control features inside of our user interface. Uh, in settings, features, and then we have a generate code samples section. You can check the boxes for the various code samples you might want to display. You can drag and drop and reorder them here, uh, like so. And if you wanted to, you could also um, change the label. So here I'm changing from C -sharp to .NET. Uh, optionally, you can, you can skip optional parameters from code samples. That can condense code samples somewhat, so sometimes that's that could be nice, depending on if you have a lot of optional parameters that aren't needed to demonstrate uh, value. So we made this change. Now let's go back to the docs and look at it. So we're back at the docs, and uh, let's refresh uh, the page and see if our code samples change. There, they've changed. So we can see our Ruby, Node.js, including our .NET with our custom label. That is a summary of code samples, uh, how you can generate code samples automatically with Redockly. And these code samples help developers consume your APIs with less handholding and support. Thank you.